That's our dinner. That's our dinner. That's a lot of days. Every night. <laughs> Currently July 25th. I took a day off in Jasper, which was really nice. I met a couple who are southbounding the GDT. I talked to them a bit about the section up ahead and it helped me make my decision of what to do because there's basically three options for where to finish on the Great Divide. With Lake Kakwa, you have a huge dirt road walk at the very end after you finish. It would involve a really big carry. It just seemed way too complicated. I also don't really want to finish at Mount Robson, so I decided I would do the Jack Pine High Route, which is supposed to be really magnificent, and then from the High Route I can go off on the west side, and it's not that far to reach the highway where I can hitch to a town. Great Divide Trail, final days. like 10 mosquitoes flying around my camera. It's the morning. It's quite cold. I keep crossing this Moose River over and over again, and it's freezing my feet. Yeah, there's no mosquitoes right now, which is really nice. I've been dealing with quite a few mosquitoes. and It's been a little frustrating, but I think I have about three days left on the trail, and then I'm gonna start hitching back to the United States, so. Just entered Robson Provincial Park. I have headphones in because there's mosquitoes, and it helps me mentally to not hear them as much. But this place looks beautiful. There's been so many more glaciers as I've gone north. Yeah, it's really cool. This camera's doing nothing to capture that mountain. That's one of the most impressive mountains I've ever seen in my life. Taking a few hours to come look at Mount Robson. Wow. Might be my new favorite mountain. Look at that thing. day on the Great Divide Trail. It's kind of sad. It doesn't feel like it's almost over just because it is a little bit of a shorter trail. I mean, I started about three weeks ago. Rain definitely will be coming soon. Jack Pine Pass. It stopped raining. Just keeps raining on and off. But it's probably gonna do it again. But it's so surreal that this uh, trail's almost over. It's gonna be kind of sad to leave it. I've gotten so used to being all around these like epic mountains and their glaciers all the time, and it's gonna be really weird to hike in places that aren't like this. It feels a little bit like unfinished business, but. It also feels like I've spent 
a good amount of quality time here and my head feels like it's in a pretty good space and I'm ready to I guess move on Clouds are coming in ferocious. There's lightning. Well, that was fun. It looks like paradise right now. But, uh, yeah, that was real. <laughs> Got hailed on. Just like. Two minutes ago, I was in a thunderstorm with hail, and it was crazy. So I messed up navigationally and uh, then I tried to correct it but it's all cliffed out the way I went. I think it's time for me to just bail off and see if I can just like see if I can just go down. Uh, so I guess that this is, uh, this is it. The end of my GDT. <laughs> I'm really happy with being here right now and happy with calling it quits. I think it's been a good trip. I just dropped down over 4,000 feet of non-trail bushwhacking. The first part was very, very steep and then it just got really overgrown. But I made it to the road and it feels so good. I'm like, yeah, very happy to have made it to this forest service road. I probably have to walk on this thing for like seven hours or something, but huh. The end is near. It's been a great trail. I'm gonna miss it, but I'm looking forward to what's next. So, thanks for watching. Bye.